So the guilty pleasure in my house, hands down, is Ras Malai. Uh, the guilty pleasure in my household is definitely Mitchell's ice cream. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Sheila Barshney. I'm a registered dietitian, and I'm here today with my friend Neha. Hey everyone, I'm Neha. Um, I am not a registered dietitian. I actually work in tech here in the Bay Area. Um, but I am so lucky that when I've been trying to figure out some of these problems myself, I've had Sheila, one of my close friends from college, She's actually is a dietitian and was able to help me through a lot of these. We're going to chat with you today about how to talk to your parents about eating healthfully. Tip number one. Find out your parents' motivation. What makes them tick? Is it their grandkids? Is it being around so that they can travel to India more? Once you understand what inspires your parents to make changes, you can then actually start working on those changes. Tip number two, make those changes small. And I mean micro. Converting from white rice to more whole grains, which is a better source of carbohydrate. So what you want to do is make this make change small. So instead of using a, an entire cup of white rice when you're cooking, use half a cup of white rice and half a cup of quinoa or half a cup of brown rice. So as a family, we talked a lot about what we could actually change in their day-to-day -day lives. You know, mm -hmm. there we looked at everything from exercise. We went out and bought them Fitbits. <laughs> we uh, that was actually a pretty hard one. Um, we realized that it was like. They didn't, there wasn't like that competition part to them. They didn't really want to compete against each other. So only like lots of years later, once they had grandkids, that was a real way to make them compete. Tip number three, come with perspective. Keep in mind that your parents are the ones who taught you how to eat. They were the ones who put food on your plate and helped you realize what was good to eat and what was bad to eat. So it could be frustrating to them, bordering on irritating to them, if you're now trying to give them advice on what to eat that's helpful. Tip number four, encourage your parents to talk to others. When it comes to working with a dietitian, your parents may be more receptive to hearing advice from someone who is outside of the family. And when it comes to working with friends, someone who your parents may already have a relationship with, it can be empowering and it can also be comforting to work with a peer on something like this. Tip number five, use love. Remember that we're doing this because we care about our parents deeply and we want them to be around. We want them to make these changes and improve their diet so that they can stay around longer. And that's why you're even having these conversations. So Neha, I hope this conversation's been useful for you and that you've got some items to take away, to take back to Definitely. the next time you speak with your parents. So cheers everyone and bottoms up, stay healthy.